Alright, hello, my name is Daniel Gopar, and this is another Emacs tutorial. Now, in this video, I'm going to start configuring Emacs the way I have it set up. So, yeah, just go ahead and watch, and if you like what I have, then you can just uh, copy it and change it as you like. So, first thing I'm going to do is change, uh, customize Helm. So, if you guys remember, uh, we already installed something called Helm Swoop. Now, the prerequisite for that package was Helm. So, we already have Helm installed, and that's what I want to change. So if you guys remember Helm Swoop was this. So you just put something like uh, open and it narrows it down. Basically searches for it, searches for the string. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's go ahead and, oops, go to Emacs and then init that out to the config file. All right, cool. So there we go, there's the Helm Swoop. So now let me configure um, Helm. Let me do this, Helm. All right, cool. So first off, I'm just going to require Helm, so call it if we don't have it, Helm's, oh no, not Helm, oh my god, I'm just copying it. Alright, cool, just Helm uh, config, there we go, like that. Now what I'm going to do is put this, uh, let me show you guys. So when I do, when you do Control X B to display the buffers, it just shows you to like that, right? You press tab and it gives you a selection. And you have to match it carefully, you know, letter by letter and stuff like that. Well, I don't want to do that. So Helm already has something like that called uh, buffers list. So let me show you guys. Helm slash buffers list. So you see, it narrows it down nice and easy. I like that better. So I'm going to make that the default whenever I press control X B. So I'm going to do global set key global set key yeah that's fine and then key bd for key binding and it's control x b there you go that's the key binding now i want you to call helm buffers list so control x c to evaluate it so now when i press control x b bam look at that by default you yeah. that's beautiful right there all right cool so if you like that feature go ahead and do it so yeah i like it so i have it so i have a lot of things in helm in my config all right, the next thing I'm going to do is Helm bookmarks. So Helm, I don't think I have any bookmarks that I've made. No, I don't have any bookmarks. But anyways, let's say I want to make a bookmark. I believe the key binding was Control X R M. Yeah, set bookmark. So I want to make a bookmark to the init.l and I press enter. So what bookmarks are is basically kind of like what they sound like. For example, let's say you're in a directory, like, uh, I don't know, in a project directory, and you want to quickly jump to your config file to make something. You just uh, make Emacs show you a list of all the bookmarks that you have, and you just click the init.l, and it'll pop you right into that file. It's pretty handy. I have it, I have it uh, for a couple of files. It's pretty useful if you visit a file frequently, and you don't want to type the whole path or whatever. Bookmarks are pretty handy. So now if I run the command again, helm bookmarks, bookmark, what's that? Helm bookmarks, there we go, there you go, so stuff like that. Yep, so I'm, uh, let's just copy it because I'm lazy. And control XRB, that's bookmarks, uh, helm dash book marks and now control evaluate it so now control X R B BAM sweet so as you guys can see how makes it a nice and prettier I like it there's another framework called I do I believe it's called I do and it's it's more simpler for people that don't like all fancy stuff but for me it works so now the next one again let's just oops oh come on man making me look like a fool here all right cool Control X, oops. Control X M, no, not not lower. There we go. And that is going to do M X uh, X. There you go. And evaluate. All right, cool. So now if I press Control X M, Helm X Control. Oh, oh, I know what's going on. This is supposed to be a lowercase x. There we go. So now save it, evaluate it. All right, cool. Control X M. And look at that. It's kind of like pressing meta X, 
but except you can narrow down everything. For example, I want to see all the helm things. I put helm. Look at that. It shows me everything. I don't need to do the dash. I can just do it helm, color, and it gives me that. You see how I didn't need to put the dash? Uh, you can narrow it down like that. For example, you just forgot like the first part and you want a command that's related to color. You just put color. And look at that. It shows you everything. Bam! Beautiful. So that's nice. I use that. I use also something called Smex, but I can show you guys on another video. So let's see. So now that I have that, um, I can do. There we go. Control X. No, Meta. This is actually handy. I actually like this one a lot. Helm. Show kill ring. Oops. Ring. There we go. Save it. Evaluate it and meta y bam so it shows you everything that you pasted uh, that you copied before so look at that bam and you can just simply scroll up and down and select which one you want bam like that it's pretty it's pretty freaking awesome I like that because I can just choose and know which one I'm going to instead of you know manually doing it and all that good stuff cuz I'm lazy like I've said so now I'm gonna look at that I just used it bam beautiful alright cool so now the next one is gonna be control X and control F oops and there you go helm find files so now before when we do control X we have to do this right and we have to prompt it and whatever so what I want to do is use helm for that and now when I press control XF oh snaps what is this I press tab on each shell. Look at that. Oh, what? Okay. Ah, uh, I know what's going on. All right, guys. So, for example, I want to go to each shell. It pops up a dire directory. What if I don't want that? So, to get tab completion on that good part, we do, we gotta type in this. So, define key helm map and the key binding. Ah, oh, come on. I always get it confused. Tab is helm execute persistent action so this makes it act when we press the tab it's tab completion basically so we evaluate it we go to control xf again we go to eshell press tab what helm did i misspell it helm execute per ah look at that i forgot the t and this is why i failed english in high school so let's see so now let me run control X control F go to eShell tab it BAM look at that sweet and I can just press control L to go up a directory and then just do that so pictures or whatever yeah sweet pretty freaking awesome so yeah this is just a little quick tutorial on figuring helm I mean there's more stuff to it obviously like uh, like how I said, if you do Helm, there's all of these commands that you can do. But uh, those are basically the ones that I use the most and that are basically most convenient to me. So, hey, go ahead and explore and configure at your heart's content. So that's for Helm. Yeah, thank you.